we all get headaches, right? And the first thing we grab if we have headaches is pills, right? I mean, of course. I'll take some of those and it's all good. No? No. There are ways to at least sometimes prevent that or just help that I need to take less. And today I want to show you one of my tea mixes I normally use to get my headache under control without pain medicine most of the time. That does not mean I never use the pain medicine. That does not mean I never have uh, enough pain that I need something else than tea. But it's my first go-to. So let's get started and stick to the end to for my big announcement. Hi, my name is Karen from Pipette and Sustainable Living. I make videos around uh, gardening, foraging, home remedies, crafting, hunting, fishing, outdoor activities, and everything in between. So if you like those kind of videos, stick around. So I have different varieties of tea mixes, and I do can show you other options later too. Let me know in a comment if you like to. Like, for example, I have a fever view growing out eye. That's not ready to harvest yet. That's going to come in my team too. But the most important ingredients I have is honeysuckle flowers. They are um, really anti-inflammatory and analgesic. I do use mint, which is containing menthol, which is relaxing for the muscles and helps with the tension. I do use lavender. Lavender has a really relaxing property and a calming effect. I use rosemary. I don't have a whole lot anymore because my plant died, but I'll get more. Which is not only anti-inflammatory too, it also helps uh, with the improve the circulation, which is good against headache. And I use raspberry leaves. Raspberry leaves have a really mild uh, pain relieving property, but they also have a lot of vitamins and minerals, which is always good to have. So that's the tea mix I'm gonna make today. Let's get started. So I use a tablespoon for all of it because it either has one or two tablespoons. Except of if you do want to take the fear of you two, you only put one teaspoon of it in there. But I don't have that right now, so that doesn't really matter. I do normally, I did not do it with the honeysuckle because they are pretty small. But like with the mint, for example, I do it. Uh, when I dry the, dehydrated them, I do put them in a grinder or in a blender and blend them up so they fit in a jar better. I have more room and also because it is a little bit much otherwise to uh, put them all for the modern pesto. So what they're gonna do is taking one tablespoon of honeysuckle. I only make one batch right now. I make a little bit more of camera in here because I'm gonna need a lot. What I'll do is um, Grinding it a little bit more up in the mortar and pesto. You don't really have to do that if you don't want to or you don't have one. And since that all comes into that mix anyhow, I don't clean the mortar and pesto out because it's not necessary to just put the herbs afterwards in the same container again anyhow. Then I take them in. Just tried the last batch yesterday. You can see it's a bit darker than the one I already had. Take two tablespoons of that. Of course, you can vary the uh, mix the way you like it. I think it tastes pretty good if it has a good taste of mint because I like the, ta uh, the flavor of mint. Try that up a little bit too. It doesn't take much because I already had it for the blender which makes it pretty small. I could also take it longer in a blender to uh, not having to do this. But it was a bit faster because I had so much and because I just got those nice bottles and decided I'm gonna blend them up for the bottles. Also have, gives me more uh, room in the bottle. Then I put a tablespoon of oops, raspberry leaves in it. Oops. 
one tablespoon of lavender. I sometimes like to put a little bit more of it in because lavender really smells amazing. And that's my number one, one go to if I need to relax. Like I said, you can adjust the recipe to your taste. I sometimes also only take honeysuckle because that's really. When my boyfriend told me to use honeysuckle against my headache, that was like mind blowing for me. That was the best thing I ever had against headache in my life. And then we add a tablespoon of rosemary. And then you have your mix here. I decided I put a tiny little bit more honeysuckle flowers in the mix. But the general recipe now we have just one tablespoon of honeysuckle. I probably normally take two just because I have enough and it really helps me a lot. But we have um, two tablespoons of mint, one tablespoon of lavender, one tablespoon of rosemary and one tablespoon of raspberry leaves. What I'm gonna do now is mixing it up well and so we're gonna make some tea together. So the water is ready. Gonna take a teaspoon of the mix now. I like those tea eggs so how you call them. I'm not sure how you call them. So I use that. A teaspoon it really still gives you quite a bit of leftover, so I'm still probably gonna make two or three more batches. And putting that in there, get the water that's now ready. I also like the kennel because it does keep the water hot for a long time, so that's why I use it too. The metal really helps with uh, holding it warm, especially if I put the whistle back on. All right, what we're gonna do now is I'll let it steep for about eight to 10 minutes and then it's ready for me to drink. And since I really need it right now, I figured why not making a video out of it. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite uh, tea mix is, what you like to use against your headache. I do have other um, varieties, uh, options, variations, mixtures and stuff I use sometimes too. Let me know if you would like to see another mix I use in, uh, in exchange for that so I can switch it up a little bit from time to time. I also have more tea mixes for other uh, thicknesses. So let me know if you want to see more about that and I'll make more videos about it. But like I said, announcement. I decided to try out to go live um, Saturday. See, today at 2 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to try my first live. Uh, please let me know in the comments below in advance if you want what question you have for me. It can be about my homesteading journey. It can be about me. It can be about anything. It can be... Um, you want to know something how i'm doing things it can be something you are struggling with in gardening homesteading oh, as a housewife uh, anything i will try to answer all the questions if i do not going to be able to answer the questions i pledge to uh, do a video about and do my research and solve your problem on video if i cannot do it in a life um um not sure what I'm gonna do yet on a live if uh, there are no questions or nobody shows up. We'll see. But uh, either let me know your questions in advance or just come hang out with me at 2 p.m. Eastern next week, Saturday. And we have a look together how that works. Maybe I'm gonna do that on a regular basis if it is something you guys wanna see. Let me know in the comments. Maybe you are not even interested in a live to begin with. So I. 
also I'm really open to answer your uh, more questions about certain um, scientific things I call you now maybe you have a bottom rod on the tomatoes and would like to know what to do against it or maybe you want to uh, know about what you can make out of your dandelion or something like that and I will try to answer your questions as much as I can and like I said I'm gonna pledge to when I cannot answer the question I am going to find out I'll make a video and if you give me your email address if I'm going to make the video to answer that question if I, which I try to do as fast as I possibly can I'm going to uh, send you an email when it's ready or you just subscribe and get a notification in here but um, that's a big announcement let me know what you think about it <coughs> sorry I'm, I'm not feeling your greatest and until the next time stay prepared and sustainable